Continuing looking at important aspects of fluency. In this video, I want to look at intonation and specifically the use of pause and pitch movement to help listeners understanding of the message and information. Speech should be divided up into small chunks. We call these thought groups and are groups of words that go together to express one idea or thought. Speakers use pause and low pitch to tell the listener that the group has ended. The easiest examples to help learners understand this idea is when we use numbers, particularly with telephone numbers. Correct grouping is vital to guarantee that the numbers are remembered and written correctly. Let's hear some examples with pause and low pitch used. Example A, 5282 Now let's compare that with B, 5282 0149. Now I want to use letters with mathematical symbols plus, multiply, and equals. Number A. A plus B multiplied by C equals Y. And now with example B, A plus B multiplied by C equals D. Now, when we substitute numbers for the letters, A is 1, B is 2, and C is 4, you will see that the answer Y in A is 12, but in B, the answer D is 9. So, the use of pause and low pitch has a direct result on the answer. And this is all reflected in the listener's understanding. Okay, now what I want to do now is to use a conversation and in it I will use pause with people's names to tell you, the listener, which person is part of a couple. Okay, let's hear the conversation. A. Who's coming tonight? B. John. A. Just John? B. No, John and Susie. A. No one else? B. Well, there's Bob. A. Hello? B. No, with Anne. A. So that's John and Susie and Bob and Anne. Is that it? B. Oh, and Gordon on his own. A. So that's John and Susie and Bob and Anne and Gordon. B. Yes, that's right. Notice that in addition to using the pause and low speech, the speaker A also reduces to to t and and to er uh for couples together. This also helps the listener understand who is with who. Now, let's move on. This concludes the first video on intonation. In the second, we'll look at more examples using pause with conjunctions and clauses. As always, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get your notifications about my new videos. And for answers and sorry, questions and, uh, and comments, please look at the content details at the end of this video for places where you can contact me.